When I first saw Sin City, I definitely wasn't a fan of it, and I definitely gave it a short riff after I saw it the first time. I have my other review of it that I wrote years ago in front of me, and boy, I did not like it, apparently. Although I do think that I took it way more seriously than I should have. The second time I saw it, I will admit I did enjoy it a lot more than I did the first time. However, this last time that I saw it, I gotta say, I wasn't really as impressed as I was the second time. I kind of look at it as kind of like Scott Pilgrim vs. the World if it had a dark tone to it. It's weird to say this, but some of the things that bothered me about this movie the first time came up again. Like some of the actors are kind of terrible at acting. Go figure. But there are things that I did like about it the second time that still stuck with me this time. And another thing that I find that still kind of bugs me is the physics of it. For whatever reason, I'm okay with the fact that Marv is like Spider-Man and the Hulk combined, where he's able to rip bars off of solid concrete and has the upper body strength of a gorilla. But when Marv is holding a guy's face to the asphalt of the road as he's driving and the guy's not dead, that's where it gets to be a little bit ridiculous to me. Though I feel as though I definitely understand way more about this movie now than the first or second time that I watched it. It's not necessarily meant to have an airtight story, physics that make sense, or the greatest of acting jobs here, though that last one would have added a bit more to it. But rather, it's more meant to convey the look and feel of film noir. I mean, it has a lot of cliches from it, dark lighting combined with gritty stories and characters, and the characters are this weird mishmash of people that you don't really expect being in a story like this, but somehow it works. Perhaps Quentin Tarantino was a bit more involved with the story, with the adding of characters like Miho or What's-His-Face, who played Chibs in Sons of Anarchy. Though I don't really know for sure, as I've never read any of the Sin City comics, though I'm not opposed to reading those comics. I liked it more the second time around because when I could get over the ridiculousness of it, then I could appreciate it for what it was, which is a more accomplished movie than the movie Hulk. In trying to make a comic book movie, in trying to make a comic book into a movie, as well as making some of the grittiest film noir. Because when I could get over the ridiculousness of Sin City, then I could appreciate it for what it was, which was a more accomplished movie than the movie Hulk by Ang Lee, in that from what I heard, Ang Lee was trying to make a comic book into a movie and it failed because Hulk is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. But also this movie was able to accomplish making some of the grittiest film noir possible. With a title like Sin City, you know it's going to be full of stories that are depraved, where the good guys try to win but in the end they lose, stories of corrupt senators, Stories of murder mysteries where the killer has no real rhyme or reason, and the guy who is trying to solve this mystery is trying to figure it out. Stories of weird passion, lust, and maybe a hint of love between lovers and ex-lovers. Sin City makes me wish I'd seen more film noir stories before I saw this, because I don't think much else will interest me after this, to be honest. Though I do hope I'm wrong. Sin City is an enjoyable flick though I'd probably only watch it again with a girlfriend or a group of friends. Sin City gets three stars out of five.